Hi, this is Shiva. So, in the last uh, session, we have discussed uh, about uh, some features of uh, RDBMS and also we have discussed the differences between DBMS and RDBMS softwares. Uh, many differences we have discussed uh, and at the same time, the last uh, session, we have discussed uh, the SQL sublanguages. So, what are the SQL sublanguages? So, in the last session, we have discussed uh, some sublanguages like DDL, DML, DCL, TCL, DRL. So, these uh, issues, these uh, sublanguages we have discussed under SQL part. And also we have discussed the each and every command, the purpose also we have discussed. In the forthcoming classes and the when time comes, I will explain these commands uh, in detailed uh, manner. Now, today we are going to discuss history of Oracle. So, before we are going to enter into Oracle database. So, let me introduce Oracle history. So, actually the history of Oracle has been started from 1979. So, in the year of 1979, the Oracle Corporation was started. So, the founder of Oracle Corporation was Larry Ellison. Larry Ellison. So, in the year of 1979, what happened means Oracle 1.2, uh, Oracle 1.0 version was released. Version 1.0.0. So, this version was released in the year of 1979. So, after that, so many versions are released like Oracle version 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, in the year of uh, 8, so sorry, in the version 8, so the Oracle Corporation has introduced a main concept called table partitioning. Table partitioning. So, table partitioning in the sense we can divide a, we can break up a large table into smaller modules. So, when a small, when a large table is divided into smaller modules, smaller partition means, so while retrieval of data, it becomes very easy. With, within no time, we can access the data. So, that concept of table partitioning was introduced in 8i. After that, 8i came. So, in the 8i, here I, I stands for internet. I stands for internet. The specialty of internet is, the specialty of ITI is, so the Oracle ITI version, it is going to read data from WebAS. Okay. So, Oracle ITI also allowed to deploy this in multi-data architecture. Multi-data architecture means many entire architecture. So, here yeah, this is, suppose this is client system and this is application tire and this is db tire db tire so normally clients will be giving data to the uh, application tire in the form of web pages web pages the data given in the web pages will be transmitted to application tire so the application is tire is going to read the data from web pages now the application uh, tire can uh, submit the data to the db tire so this concept of uh, deploying uh, deploying of Oracle database was started from Oracle 8i version. So, after 8i, 8i was introduced and 8i, 8i both, both are introduced and 9i, 10g, 11g and 12c. So, up to 8, uh, 8th version, 8i version, Oracle has not attracted the people. Okay? From 8i version onwards, it has attra attracted the people because of some uh, internal features. Because of some internet capability, it has attracted many people. And 9i is also released in the 9i. What happens means a Oracle is a powerful concept called Rack was introduced. Rack is nothing but this is real application clustering. Real application clustering concept was used. Real application clustering. So, what is mean by real application clustering? Actually, before arrival of 9i, so people will be dealing with only one Oracle engine. Suppose the database, uh, just you imagine database DB server. So, this uh, DB server is going to provide only single instance. So, to this instance, some lakhs of clients may be connected lakhs of clients may be connected. So, whenever 
failure of database server is uh, failure of database server is occurred what happens is automatically all the clients will be going down okay so this is because because of a single point so this kind of failure is called as a single point of failure so whenever single point of failure has occurred what happens automatically all clients machine uh, machines will be in hold down so in order to overcome that problem from oracle 9i uh, 9i version a powerful concept called real application clustering was introduced so in the real application clustering what happens means so instead of having a single instance multiple instances they have introduced so multiple instances they have integrated in the form of cluster clustering technology cluster technology assume that this is instance 1 and this is instance 2 and this is in instance 3 instance 1 instance 2 instance 3 so it is a collection of many databases okay it is a collection of many database engines suppose just imagine for i1 uh, number of clients are connected like c1 c2 psi3 like that some thousands of clients are connected 1000 clients are connected and uh, imagine for c2 for i2 for i2 also many clients are connected like uh, 1000 clients to 1000 2000 and for i3 also some thousands are clients are connected so in this case what happens means so whenever a particular server is failed so automatically the failed server server workload will be handed over to next server okay so among i1 i2 i3 what happens here interconnectivity feature was available so whenever a particular in engine was failed automatically the failed engine workload will be handed over to next to surviving instance so this concept this type of concept is called as a real application clustering concept so which was not there the, which was not there in the earlier versions of oracle and when coming to the 10g version so a g, g stands for grid computing grid computing so the grid again it is a, it is a collection of many instances like i1 i2 i3 it is going to maintain several instances and uh, like in uh, 9i so in 10g also whenever a particular instance is failed what happens automatically the failover instance will be handed over to the next surviving instance and uh, most of the industries now they are using 11g and 11g r1 and r2 11g r1 in 11g we have two versions 11g r1 is there and 11g r2 r2 is there so there are many differences between 11g r1 version and 11g r2 version so when coming to 12c so this is that not that much popular in our country india so yes c stands for cloud so what is the benefit of cloud actually imagine suppose i want to run java software or oracle software so in order to run java or oracle software we must have install the software in our system so by using cloud technology cloud computer cloud technology even without uh, installing the, those softwares directly you can connect to a cloud machine where the softwares are, are installed directly you can make use of uh, those cloud system services okay so this is a specialty of a uh, cloud system 12c so this was not that much uh, that much popular in our india so most of the other countries are using 12c version so this is a small history of uh, oracle version oracle uh, version oracle history has been started from oracle version 1.1.0 uh, 2.0 up to 8i it has not attracted any people attention okay from 8i so 8i onwards so a special feature called internet internet so in the in 8i version so we able to deploy the oracle database software in multi tier architecture okay so that was possible in case of 8i so 9i has introduced what real application clustering technology so in the real application clustering technology we can have multiple instances now whenever one of the instances engine is failed what happens here automatically the failed clients the failed workload the failed machine workload will be handed over to next uh, next surviving instance okay like that we can have rag real application clustering facility before real application clustering facility so there was no concept of multiple instances so your 10g it is almost similar but uh, major differences are there between 9i and 10 10g 10g uh, 11g in 11g also we have two versions 11g r1 and 11g r2 and when coming to 12c so in 12c the best feature is uh, even you don't have without having any uh, oracle software so you can run 
Oracle software from a cloud machine. Okay, so what is the benefit of cloud machine actually? So it is going to reduce the business costs. Okay, so it is going to reduce business cost. That was the major advantage of 12C version, cloud C computing.